Monday Floss Tube. Hello crafty friends. My name is Caroline and welcome back. I uh, All I have for you today is a rather large shop update. So there um, I was really hoping to do a second crafty chat video today um, because I, I want to share a stitch along with you that I'm going to be joining at the beginning of October. So instead so that I can do a uh, so that I've got enough time to talk about that by itself um, and share that with you. I'm going to save that till tomorrow. So this will be the only video that I put out today and I will make sure that I've, I've labeled it as strictly just an Evertote shop update. So I have a lot of bags to share. So I'm going to get right to it. This is a pre-order um, shop update. So everything that I have in the shop is... Uh, ready to be made. So I have cut everything. Um, mostly everything is pieced. I know all of my numbers and then I will be shipping out all of these orders in uh, two weeks. So what I've done is I have, if I have a fabric that I've got different styles of like a wedge tote and a cross stitch um, flat set, then I've made it in the wedge style and I've taken photos of the fabric combo and then I will load those photos in so it might not be the picture of a cross stitch of a flat set but you'll see the fabric combo and it will look exactly the same those those fabric combinations together as what you see in the wedge tote that is put together uh, so and I have a few Halloween bags today so let's start with the bags that I just have wedge totes of these are um, some and mostly mostly what I have today everything that I'm putting in the shop is all the fabric that I have so um, quantities are quite limited on several of these for the first one for example is my oh, this sweet these woodland foxes it's so cute so sweet I had five um, but one of them, there is, I didn't notice this until after I had cut everything out. One of the fabric panels, um, the, wherever I purchased this fabric from originally, uh, someone had written on the back of the fabric in ink and I, you know, I can't, I can't use that in a bag. You'd, you'd see it through the fabric. So I get to keep that bag myself. So happy happenstance. So this is uh, the wedge tote. It's a medium wedge tote. It fits an eight inch square Q-snap or, you know, a two to three skein fingering project. I'd say two skein comfortably. And it comes with a Notions pouch that matches the bottom fabric there. So I have four, four of those sets. And that's it, um, except for I have one I was able to squeeze out one drawstring bag, but I'm gonna uh, save that because I'm hoping to have a bigger selection of drawstring bags the next time I update the shop, and so I'll save that until I, I put those in so that there's a bigger choice. Okay, next up is my camping fabric. This one is so cute. Okay, so this is the bag. This is the medium wedge tote. Some of you may remember this fabric. I had this fabric a few years back, a year ago, in the brown colorway. Uh, but this is the gray set. I do have this in the cross stitch. Um, I keep calling it the cross stitch. You can put cross stitch in all of these bags. It's just in my head when I do the shipping labels, I call them knitting bags, these ones, and the flat ones I just call cross stitch bags just for ease of my filling out all the custom forms. So it's just something I associate in my head. But you can easily put cross stitch projects in these. So this is the medium wedge. Now I wrote my numbers down here. I have, th I only have three of the wedge tote sets. Comes with the gray, no it doesn't, excuse me. Comes with the camping notions pouch. So the notions pouch matches the fabric the bag look at that little fox it's so cute the camper van and I have six medium flat 
sets and three large sets. Same combination, the gray twill on the bottom and the matching camping notions pouch. I have one singular um, old timey newsprint wedge tote. I've shown these before. I, I had brought one with me um, packed away in my, in my, um, my cut, already cut pile and so I've just popped it together and this comes with a notions pouch as well. I have more of this fabric coming. Um, I'm going to get John to bring it with him the next time he comes. So I will have more of these bags in both the wedge and the flat. I sell these all as one of a kind because the fabric panels are so large that the bags usually, you know, end up looking a fair bit different. So the one that you purchase is the one that you get. Um, just because they're they're quite unique and the notions pouch as well matches it so again i only have one of these in this particular update but i do have more coming more to be made i should say they're not coming i have to make them uh okay another wedge tote this beauty here i love this fabric i've used this fabric before as a notions pouch with my pink snail fabric and i just thought it was so beautiful it needed to be a bag of its own so i have only three of these wedge tote sets the wedge tote comes with the um, magenta notions pouch in this shop date i also have six small flat cross stitch totes six of the small flats and these ones have um, a purple zip I think that's focusing bring the fabric nice and close isn't it pretty it's so beautiful okay so just um, for further information on this fabric I have this cut out for um, flat cross stitch totes as well that have I have a um, turquoise uh, twill on the bottom of them but I'm running really low on white lining material and I didn't want to pre-sell something that I don't actually have physically with me um, or even at home in London so I'm waiting to until that order arrives before I make those cross stitch sets available so I have more of this fabric coming in very limited quantities in flat sets probably two weeks from now so that's not completely gone but uh, we're getting that way okay um so that's all of those wedge totes okay flat sets that i only have uh flat bags no wedge totes first up is this combo here now I, my mother will attest to the fact that I have a black thumb. I'm not, I'm not a talented gardener, nor do I, I know my, um, my flowers very well. My, my names, my botanical names. Is this a clematis? Is that what that's called? Anyways, I, I bought a little bit of this print because I just thought it was so pretty. I have paired it with this beautiful magenta on the bottom and I'm not sure it's going to pick it up but there is a little bit of a gold sparkle in that fabric that's in the bottom and the notions pouch matches that which I think is really pretty. I have only three, three medium sets and three large flat sets and that's it. So six total. Last of the fabric that is only done as a flat set, and you may remember this print as well because I made this for the first time I used this fabric here at the cottage. I believe it was two summers ago. I absolutely love this fabric and I've been hanging on to it. And so I have just, just for this update, I have, I have cut up the rest of it. It's all ready to go. And this is the last of what I have. And so this is the, the all this beauty, this red and teal combo. Um, before I left London, I made sure that I had ordered in enough red zips so that I could do the rest of what I had with that red zip combo. 
I loved it with the cream combo as well, but I thought it would be fun for the remainder of what I had to put the red zip in. Now the Notions pouch is different this time around with this set, and I've done it with the accent fabric. It's so pretty, this fabric, I love it. And the first time that I made this bag, I did keep one for myself. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I have, how many of these do I have? Where is it? I have six medium sets and nine large sets. And they will all look exactly the same as this fabric combo. Now, the lining, I haven't been showing you any of the linings on any of these. Um, this one is just a, it matches a light teal, that one. All of the linings I try to keep very simple so that uh, you can find what you're looking for when you open your project bag. Okay, so that is it for non-Halloween stuff. Now I have just a little bit of Halloween fabric, so I thought I've been seeing the designers coming out with the Halloween charts. And I thought now is the perfect time to um, sew up what I have. So you may remember this fabric because this is fabric that I had last year, but I didn't offer this fabric in anything except drawstring bags. So I have used everything that I had of the one of the one fabric, but this this particular fabric here, I have a tiny bit more at home, and I will probably. Um, I will probably keep it until next year. I'm not sure. I only have three of these, this wedge tote set. I don't, I didn't have any, I, I cut up everything that I had and I, I had very little and it just made three sets and I paired it with my favorite gray speckle. It's got the gray speckle notions pouch. So skeletons. So again, just three, just three sets of that. The last fabric that I've got to share with you today is one of my fav one of my favorites. I love this Halloween print. I just think it's so fun. So this is my Sparkle Bat. Sparkle Bat and it looks like this in the wedge tote. So all of these all of these particular wedge totes that I've made have the side strap and black twill on the bottoms and I'm not sure can you see is it picking up the sparkle those bats are a silver metallic sparkle and there's also the bat skeleton has sparkle too so I'm not sure the camera's picking up the sparkle but they are definitely sparkly bats I the Skeleton bag has a white lining. The sparkle bat has a my gray speckle and also will come with the gray speckle notions pouch as well. Okay, I I do have more of these bags. So I have uh, six of the wedge tote sets. I have nine medium flat sets and seven large flat sets as well. So a little bit more quantity on my super cute sparkle bat. I love that bat. It's so fun. And that's it. That's it. I had a couple more fabrics cut out. Like I was saying, I had, um, I had this one almost ready to go. And then when I went to the lining, I thought, uh Oh, I just didn't have quite enough to make sure that that I wouldn't run out um, to make them all. So I just think it's best just to wait until I have that shipment in my hot little, hot little hands. Um, I also have, well, I, I, have, I have lots more combos to come. I also have um, in the next shop update that I'm going to do, coming down the line, if you're a sewist, you will be interested in some fabrics that I have coming in. And in fact, I think that they're the 
the the line is called material girl and i have a few bolts of um of the of fabric coming in so i'm looking forward to pairing those together in some beautiful bags okay so that is it for the shop update i um i have already taken most of the photographs that i need i still need to load everything into the shop and then um as soon as this video goes live then i will um I'll make the listings live. So I might, I know I had said 8 o'clock p.m., but I might make it a little earlier. We'll see. Either that or I'll plan this video to go live at 8 o'clock. I could do that too. That might work. So, um, yeah, it's been a very busy weekend with a lot of personal things going on as well as sewing and trying to enjoy some. Today has been a beautiful day. It's extremely humid. It's <laughs> dead giveaway with the, the the my hair just goes poof so uh so that is it for me today for the shop update and I am really looking forward to sharing the new stitch along that I am joining I am not hosting this stitch along this is one that uh when I saw it and I found out who was leading it and I saw the design and the store that's carrying the design and the special reason for the design I couldn't resist and so I hopped online and I purchased all of the supplies needed to participate in this stitch along so oops <laughs> but I'll tell you I, I know I know I'm I'm uh, I'm holding it close to the is the expression keep it close to the oh I I don't know I can't normally these express oh you know me I can't think of a word or an expression but it's on the tip of my tongue and I'm sure most of you know what I meant I, I'm keeping the anticipation alive until tomorrow because it's so beautiful but I want to do a proper video with clips of the design and information on on that and the designer and the shop and 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 so and that takes some editing time and work and so I'll do that tomorrow properly okay so I will bid you adieu and I will see you tomorrow for a daily crafty chat I hope you're well. Please take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Happy stitching everybody.